I've made three generator noise reduction box designs. One made out of OSB plywood, one made out of two inch thick styrofoam, and my newest one I'm calling the sound shed. Today, I will show you how to build a generator noise reduction shed for as little as $30. Then, we'll do some sound testing on it and we'll see just how effective it is at reducing generator noise. To build the generator noise reduction shed, I'm gonna use this four x eight sheet of two inch thick styrofoam. The construction of the noise reduction shed is pretty simple. I've got two sides and a top, all 36 inches long. The shed itself is gonna be 24 inches tall. That means my end will be 24 by 24. So here's how I'm gonna cut my material. Two sides, my end, and my top. The first cut that I'm gonna make is at 28 inches. That's gonna make the top. To cut my styrofoam today, I'll be using Nichrome hot wire technology. I have mine set up into a table saw design and I'm gonna power it with this 12 volt power supply. I couldn't find my half mask today, so I was stuck with my full mask. That has all my pieces cut. My two sides, my end, and my top. Two sides, my end, and my top. Now that I have all four of my pieces cut, if I wanted to build this for $30, I would take a can of great stuff, I would square this thing up, and I would just glue it together. But I want it to be collapsible and portable. I'm reinforcing the corners using roof edge. I have three inch bond edge and two inch galvanized edge. I used my hand shears to cut the pieces that I need. I've cut pieces for both sides of the top and then I cut pieces for the front. I'm gonna drill quarter inch holes through my corner supports and then I'm gonna use these two and a half inch quarter 20 bolts, flat washers, and then I'm gonna use wing nuts. My idea here is to use the three inch roof edge on the outside and the two inch roof edge on the inside. I'm gonna use a clamp to hold the whole thing together while I drill my holes. Now that I have holes through the three inch, it'll be easier to drill through the two inch. Now we'll put the bolts in. For now, I'm only using two and one. This thing's pretty lightweight and I believe it'll hold. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll finish up the other side and then we'll do the back. Now, I'll put on the end. I'll use the clamp, just like I did on the top. Now I'll pull the top two pieces off and add the inside supports. Now put the bolts in. Now we'll do the other side. Now we'll put the top back on. All right, I found my first boo-boo. Turns out those overlap in the corner, so I'm gonna have to re-drill that hole and that one. It's pretty sturdy. I think we have the right amount of screws, and originally I was concerned that I didn't have enough to do the front, but I think it's gonna be fine. Let's take it out in the field and do some sound testing. I've made three generator noise reduction box designs. One made out of OSB plywood, one made out of two inch thick styrofoam, and my newest one, the sound shed. It's also made out of two inch thick styrofoam. Check out the rest of my channel to see the various build videos and sound testing videos. Today on camera, we have Fred Jr. 
Today we'll be sound testing the sound shed. We'll see just how it measures up. This is a super compact design. It's really flat and it only weighs 10 pounds. Let me show you just how easy this thing is to set up. Our testing today will be pretty simple. We're gonna take a sound reading at zero feet with the generator and then with the sound shed. And we'll take a reading at 25 feet with just the generator and then with the sound shed. Standing here at idle, looks like we have about 57. Looks like we're averaging right around 48. Looks like we're right around 63 and a half with the load on. Let's go out to 25 feet. Looks like we're at 52 and a half. Now let's try it with the sound shed. Looks like we're right around 57. Looks like we're right around 49 at 25 feet with a full load. Looks like we're right at 55 and that's at zero feet at an idle. Looks like we're right at 45 and that's at 25 feet at an idle. All right, let's crunch the numbers. At zero feet with just the generator, we were 57 decibels at idle. With a load, we were at 63 and a half. At 25 feet, we were at 48 decibels, and with a load, we were at 52 and a half. With the sound shed, at zero feet at idle, we were at 55 decibels, and with a load, we were at 57 decibels. At 25 feet with the sound shed, we were at 45 decibels at idle, and we were at 49 decibels with the load. The shape of the sound shed really helps to reflect the sound away from the area that you wanna be less noisy. And having one end open lets the exhaust and the heat escape. This is a very simple design that sets up and breaks down with only six bolts. And the rest of the hardware stays attached to the panels. Will a sound box design like this allow enough heat to escape without adding a fan? I'm filming a heat testing video for all three of these sound boxes. And when I'm finished, I'll put a link to that right here. I'm glad you watched and I hope you'll watch again. Bug. <laughs> for all three of these sound boxes.